Let's begin a jailbreak. Do, 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 do. It took a sleepless week of data crunching, but I eventually tracked down the location of my friends, locked away in the mysterious Towers of Frog. At the moment, they are the unwilling guests of Interpol's most renowned prison warden, the Contessa. While still a criminal psychology student, she entered into a whirlwind romance and married a wealthy aristocrat. Sadly, the union was short-lived, as the general suspiciously died a few weeks after the ceremony. The widowed Contessa put her education and newly acquired estate to work by opening a criminal rehabilitation center. Her pioneering use of hypnotherapy has produced some good results and subsequently earned her a prominent position within Interpol. My friends are locked up somewhere in the clinic and are slated for the Contessa's good Samaritan brainwashing. If I don't bust them out soon, they'll be working a nine to five job selling shoes and I'll be out two best friends. Heaven forbid they start selling shoes, Bentley. I will not have it. I will not have it. So what are we going to do, Bentley? Let's figure this out. Come on. Ooh, can I buy anything? So, <laughs> before I started this, I, um... Went back and got more money because I needed to buy the alarm clock for Sly. Because in this episode section thing, you're going to have to use it a lot-ish. I should make my way over to the Contessa's house. Maybe I'll pick up a few leads on the location of Sly and Murray. Hey, I didn't see that. There's a bottle up there. Cool. So I actually made the game a little bit lighter, like a brighter, I guess. And that was a very fail fantasticness on my part. Oh my god. Uh in your face. But um yeah before I played this this section at least. It was really dark and I really didn't want you guys to think that I sucked at everything and didn't want you guys to look at it. Look at it, 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 it. I can't. I can't talks. By the way, I hate this bridge. See? Stupid thing. Stupid wolf. Stupid. Because these goddamn statues come to life and you just. Ah! So dumb. Well, that was good. Good job, Bentley. Let me move the mic away a little bit. I'm really loud today, apparently, so... Sorry! How am I even supposed to get up here? Oh, now I know. The thing that I destroyed. You're supposed to jump on top of it. I 
and then you can walk on top. Okay. Aha! The Contessa is out making her rounds. Wait a second. The feathers on my sleep darts vibrate huh? near sounds. If I maintain my position on top of this parabolic dish, I should be able to hear that frequency at a distance. This is great! If I tag the Contessa with my darts, I'll be able to listen in on whatever she says. I might even learn where she's locked up Sly and Murray. Hosodose, let's see if I can do this without, oh, nope. Like, uh, zooming in. The there we go. Falling apart. Spice shipments have all but stopped. Huh. I never would have joined if I'd known it would be this easy to disrupt the plan. At least the Cooper gang is under lock and key. Their lopsided morality flies in the face of man's inherent selfishness. Ah, oh, well. They'll see it my way soon enough. Ah, uh, no, they won't. Let's see, over here. Can I get you? Aw, oh, dang it. I hate having to zoom in. Those fools oh. at Interpol. They keep sending me criminals and I keep making money. How come no one ever thought of this before? Hypnotize criminals and force them to reveal where they've hidden their fortune. I'm a genius. If only I had more spice to help me with a hypnosis. Let's see, I'm guessing... Oh, not there. Never mind. I was gonna guess up here. Nope. Failed. That blasted Cooper gang. The fat one. What's his name? Murray. Yes, Murray. He'll be the first to break. Is she I talking to herself? I never figured this out. <laughs> I can only imagine the wealth that gang has accumulated over the years. Uh, oh, miss. That was a very big miss. Where are you? Stop going where I'm not looking. That's Sly Cooper. Such a complex and rebellious mind. A month or two in the hole should break his spirit. Let him squat there week after week. He's seen that the guards along the wall all have motion detectors. There is no escape. Slowly, the reality of his captivity will set in, and I'll get to work on his mind. Inconceivable! She's no healthcare professional! Why, that's the most heinous crime I've ever heard of! Putting inmates into hypnosis so they'll tell her where they've stashed their loot. It dishonors both law enforcement and thieves at the same time. I should get to work and figure out a way to break Sly out of the hole. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so where am I going? Damn it! Run away! Okay, okay, I'm safe. Oh, nope, not anymore. Ah, run away! There we go. That computer is part of a control system for the electromagnetic train. By hacking all the terminals along the train tracks, I should be able to reverse their polarity. Thereby turning the train into Is he just a like projectile. sleeping on the train tracks? Without question, its impact on the prison walls mm. should create a hole large enough for Sly to escape through. Why were you there? Stop it! I have to go. I have to. I have to run. It. Okay. Nothing like a good computer hack job. 
Now, the left analog stick should control my side. I'll have to hack through these barrier nodes. I should move the right analog stick in the direction I want to unleash my hacker code. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. Both analog sticks at the same time, I'll be able to move and shoot in different directions. I'm gonna destroy everything. I actually really like this version of hacking than the last game. Just because this one's a little bit more fun. At least to me it is. I mean, you guys can love the first game's hacking all you want, but it seems like it'd be a little bit more fun. find it a little less of a, uh, oh my god, it's going to kill me, type thing. Do, 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 do. Four more to go. Gonna run along the train tracks. It's okay. Ooh, that might be bad. Just get on it. Get on it! Get on it! Oh, dang it. The spicy Doritos. They're coming to kill me. Don't they look like Dorito chips? Like that fiery Doritos? My mom likes to eat them, so... I don't really know, but yeah, they kind of look like it. That should speed up the train. Okay, wait, I where's the train? 50%. Where's the train? Train. Um, hmm. Do I want to try it? I probably should have. Okay, run like your butt is on fire, Bentley. Oh my god, you're gonna die, Bentley. You're gonna die. Nope. Okay, good. Away, Dorito chips. This is taking so much longer than it should. Okay, where is it? Okay, let's go. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Okay, good. Two more terminals. One's right here. Oh. We get the regular nachos. Nacho chips. Stop it! Stop trying to kill me! Damn it, man! Stop! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh god, god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, 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 oh my god, go, go, run! Okay, good. Now, on to reverse.
covers the field. I'm a little bit crazy. Stop it, you Dorito chips. Stop. Damn it, you. Go, 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 Hack for your life, or you will die. Uh, 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 uh. What a beautiful trajectory! 